Today I'm going to make a little diorama, but not in a big pot, in just this small square mould. This is, the bottom of this, like it would be as if it was a coaster, will be the front of the actual little diorama. Because I don't think you have to have a really big square to make a diorama in. So, without too much further ado, let's get on. So how I'm going to make my moon is, I'm going to use this little thin piece of plastic. It came with some packaging. And what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to draw a circle around it. Because moons are circular. But then I'm also going to cut a bit out of it, because I don't want it to be a full moon. So the next thing I also need to do is, I need to make a little tree. And I don't want the tree to come to any more than about here on the actual picture. So I'm going to cut off where I need it to be. The maximum height I need it to be is there. And then I'm going to draw a little tree on here and then cut that out. So this is where the tree is going to sit. This is where the moon's going to sit. And then there's going to be a little person there. And they're going to be the little people, as you can see. And they're just two really tiny little models that I got that are part of making models for train sets. Now, I'm not going to have them in those colours because I don't think those colours will look right for this night time. So I will paint these little people first. I've also decided I'm going to put a little street lamp here and I'm having a light in it as well, running off uh, my little LED lights. Don't forget, everything I use in this video, I will put a link in the description too, so you can just click that link and follow it straight to where you can get it. I've mixed my resin up now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a very thin layer in this mould. Now, I do mean a thin layer, and let that cure up. Okay, that'll probably be enough. And then the rest of what I'm going to do, I'm going to do using time-lapse so that you don't have to just sit and listen to me dribbling on. <laughs> so that is the thinnest layer that I want to have in there. And what that will do is that will self-level. I shall get my heat gun out in a minute once bubble, bubbles pop up and then we'll come to um, get rid of those few bubbles. Oh, it's thundering and lightning outside. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now do these. That's the tree. That's the lamp. And I've made a little hole in the lamp for the light to go through. I'm using, I've cut the rest off, so I'm only using one light like that in the lamp. So all I'm going to be doing is putting a little blob of glue there, or the UV resin there. Getting one of my little needles and drawing that down here. And you're not going to see this because this is going to be the back, don't forget. And this is then going to be covered with the dark backing for this actual picture. Make sure that's as straight as possible, um, pointing in the direction that we want. Okay, and shine my UV torch onto this for about a minute at the most. That will do it. I stuck that down nicely. So all I need to do then is when I put that in, let's look at this, I will just turn that on and then the light will light up. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add the moon and then I'll add the moon and then I'll do another little thin coat 
of clear resin over the top of that. And then I'll put the tree and the people in and then probably another little thin coat and then the lamppost because I want it to have a 3D depth effect. So this first layer is cured now and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting another layer in, letting that cure and then I'll do the tree and the lamppost so that it gives it some depth and looks really 3D in the finished diorama. So this is now ready to have the tree put in and the people because I want to have the people standing really by the tree and then the lamppost slightly behind that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour another little layer on here. And I'm going to lower this in slowly because I want to avoid getting as many bubbles in there as I possibly can. But when it is in there, I am going to give it a good move around to allow it to release any of the trap bubbles that are in there or underneath it before I place it in its final place. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to have the people this side of the tree. Okay, and they're not going to float up because I haven't put enough resin in them to in here at the moment to make them float up let's get them standing a little bit closer i want to sprinkle a little bit just a very little bit of glitter across this top bit so when i do put the black on there's going to be a little bit of glitter there for the um for the stars but i literally when i do say a little bit of glitter i do mean a little bit of glitter i don't know if it's picked it up on there Because this resin is almost set, that's now going to stay on there and it won't, it won't move. This is cured enough now for me to put the little light in. And I must make sure I put it in the right way. It's not completely cured, but it has um, cured enough for this light to go in. So that'll still give it some three dimensional look once it's um, set in there. So now I'm popping that light in. And then I will put another clear, very cl thin clear coat over the top of that. And then we'll come back to that when I'm ready to put the backing on. So this is all cured now and it just needs the backing to go on it. And what I'm going to be using for the backing is I'm going to be using a translucent resin pigment in dark blue to back it with. I don't want it to be really, really solid colour, so that's why I'm using translucent. This is cured now and ready to take out of the mould. So we can demold this. There we go. So let's quickly turn the lights off. And then we have a diorama and as you can see the glitter in it did um, help it sparkle and it looks really as if it has got because we did it in layers it has got a 3d effect to it as well and i'm really pleased how that's come out now what i will do is i will make a little wooden stand for this so something similar to that up to one end so it's on a little wooden stand maybe a little bit wider than that to allow it to um, have just a little bit of contrast and so it actually 
looks mounted and I think that will make it look nice. But that's how to create a really simple, easy diorama. And if you wanted to put more lights in this, and rather than have a battery powered light, have a mains powered light, that would be easy. You could put them on the tree or around it and use it as a night light for a child. So I hope you've enjoyed this project. If you have, please let me know in the comments what you think. All the comments really do help this video to get out to other people uh, who are interested in resin work. And enjoy your resin work.